What is a gourmet breaded chicken breast? It's just an upscale breaded chicken breast. We're going to add some uh, extra seasonings in the breadcrumbs. We're going to put Parmesan cheese in the breading. Uh, so it's going to have um, a gourmet flavor. We're going to cut little fillets, mm, two ounces. I cut these pretty nice and I don't need to pound them. That's a nice even cut that I cut off the, the breast. So we want to give the station a good sanit, uh, sanitization. So let's rock and roll. Gourmet breaded chicken crumbs. About one third of that is going to be grated Parmesan, some dry basil. It's better than fresh because it, it you know, the fresh will kind of clump up. And we're going to season our chicken individually. And uh, yeah, we'll put a little oregano in here also. You want to see it. So I gotta make sure it's speckled. They're only dry spices, but the more you move them around, the more you kind of activate them. Very good. Standard breading procedure. Wet chicken, dry flour, wet egg wash, dry bread crumb. Let's put it in there. Dredge it into flour. Dry it off, shake off the excess. You go through a lot of egg when you double bread. Put it in the bread crumb mixture. Now this is a finer breadcrumb. It's got the Parmesan cheese in it. And you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to make a gourmet. Bread it twice. Now I'm coating the breadcrumb with egg. This way I can get more the thicker batter because I'm proud of the I'm proud of the breadcrumb. Okay so we have our hot pan and this is pan frying to remind you it's not saute it's a controlled heat it's usually a breaded product, and it's usually um, the, pro the, the median, the cooking median, climbs about a third to halfway up the product. We're pan frying, similar to deep frying, uh, more than uh, it's similar to sauteing. And what I'm adding here is saffron, the threads of the autumn crocus, the stigma of the autumn crocus, pure mancha saffron from Spain. And I have uh, brown butter and oil. I want the, the butter to climb. I want to flavor the butter with the saffron, okay? And I want the butter, or the cooking medium, to climb halfway, or a third of the way, up the chicken cutlet. Our pan is ready. It's nice and hot. The saffron infused into the butter and the olive oil. And I'm going to lay the cutlets in there. And I want to spread out the saffron so it doesn't come in one big clump. I'm going to slowly cook. We got a lot of breading to go through and we're going to want to get a nice, achieve a nice crust because that's the goal with pan frying is achieve a nice crust. The bubbles actually look a little creamy. That's from the Parmesan cheese coming out. And I think it's time to flip. Those Parmesan cheese browns a little more or a little quicker than something else. That is nice color. You want to go past that, but that is still nice. And it absorbs the fat. We're going to put in this European 83% butter fat in here so it cooks nice. And this is going to be done before we know it. So we're just going to stay here, make sure that butter gets around. The saffron is also giving it a nice color. The aroma from the um, saffron, from the basil, just that crispness, the butter. Uh, really smells good, really smells heavenly. So we're going to kind of peak because we don't want to burn it. And we have beautiful crust on the bottom, see? And we're going to drain that. So while the chicken is in the oven, holding warm, we're just going to prepare a simple plate. I'm going to take a tomato and I'm going to um, cut out the core and I'm going to slice it nice and thin. I'm just kind of dragging it through the tomato at the thinnest point of the blade which would be the tip. I have to like tomatoes but this is going to be gourmet and who doesn't like a nice summer tomato. We're going to take a basil cluster right there in that little gap. I am going to take this beautiful piece right here and go right down on the top 
One's gonna be enough, it's got thick breading. Now this is basil, just blanched quickly in boiling water, shocked with cold water, pureed with olive oil. And that's all you need to do. Should have a little cracked black pepper. Tomatoes should be salted slightly with kosher salt. We have a gourmet breaded chicken breast. I'm Jeff Trombetta, professor and chef of the Hospitality and Tourism Department at the University of New Haven in West Haven, Connecticut.